As the debate rages over the fate of the college football season, concerns over a rare heart condition, which may be linked to COVID-19, could be the thing that triggers its cancellation. ESPN is reporting that myocarditis, or inflammation of the heart muscle, has been found in several college athletes, including some in the Big Ten Conference. Two NCAA conferences have already said that they are postponing the fall season, and a decision from the Big Ten and the Pac-12 could come at any time. I want to bring in someone who could potentially be dealing with this firsthand, Dr. Jonathan Dresner, who is a team physician for the University of Washington Huskies, as well as the Seattle Seahawks. He's also director of UW's Medicine Center for Sports Cardiology, and he advises the NCAA on cardiac issues. Sir, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Brianna, for having me. So, doctor, before we talk about the football season, just walk us through what this condition is and why it's dangerous. Absolutely. So we, we've heard for a while now that COVID-19 has an affinity for heart injury. And we first learned this in our hospitalized patients where approximately one in four hospitalized patients would have heart injury or myocardial uh, damage. And it raised a lot of questions back in March and April about whether or not this could uh, pose problems for people with less severe infections. Would uh, individuals who had mild symptoms or no symptoms uh, also be at risk for these heart injuries? Now we're learning uh, that some young athletes who have mild infections or even no symptoms are developing inflammation of the heart muscle that's called myocarditis. Myocarditis has been around for a long time. There's other viruses that do it, but we're, we're, we're hearing about it and worried that this uh, causes uh, a higher risk uh, from COVID-19 compared to other viruses. Myocarditis can lead to uh, scar tissue within the heart muscle um, that scar tissue can be a focus for an arrhythmia or even sudden cardiac arrest. And so it's raised a lot of caution flags. We still have a lot to learn on this, um, but we're certainly concerned. Okay, so, so this means that there are college athletes who potentially could have this and there could be short-term effects, there could be long-term effects for their health long after they play college sports, or it could also negatively impact their chances of going pro, right? Yeah, so there's been a lot of communication amongst team physicians across the country, uh, and we're hearing about these cases. I've probably heard about a dozen cases um, within the college setting, not just football athletes. Um, you know, short-term, I think the risk is uh, arrhythmia. There are some more severe cases where the, the heart muscle doesn't uh, pump as well and they can actually have heart failure. Um, and of course, there's concerns for long-term uh, health outcomes. Myocarditis uh, has been implicated in tragic events in athletes for a long time. Uh, research from the University of Washington has shown that about 9% of sudden cardiac deaths in college athletes is from myocarditis. And this was before the COVID era. Um, and again, we're not exactly sure what um, all this means yet, but it certainly has, has raised some uh, issues that we need to learn more about. So based on what you know, and the, look, the outstanding questions of what you don't know too, would you cancel this, this college football season? Yeah, you know, well, I'm glad I'm not in the decision seat on that one. I think um, if if football season and, and fall sports gets pushed back, I, I think it's important for everyone to remember it's not just because of the heart issues. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic where many cities are, are, are fighting surges, uh, where prevalence in the community is still high, where access to testing uh, is not available for quick turnarounds to, to keep our athletes in a safe environment. And we've been aware of, of adverse health outcomes in athletes for a while. I think with the heart issue and the myocarditis, it raises that bar even further um, and maybe is the tipping point uh, where people might decide to postpone fall sports. Dr. Dresner, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.